welcome everyone to our Zoom meditation this morning. And we're going to continue Melody's theme of peace <clears throat> from just a little bit of a different aspect. Because you know my meditations are usually a little bit more in the guided meditation area. But I do try to include a little bit of contemplation time. So uh, I, I came across a really nice quote from Amelia Earhart who said, courage is the price that life extracts for granting peace. And so as adults, we sometimes struggle to find acceptance and feel at peace. And we search for happiness and we search for security and we think of others love us and accept us, we can find that. Uh, we tend to judge our world and the situations we find ourselves in sometimes, and the people around us in terms of their behavior towards us. And we try to hide sometimes our own vulnerabilities um, to avoid exposure and to avoid opening up and maybe getting hurt. And we protect ourselves from being hurt. And sometimes our fear threatens really to just crush us. So the lesson I think for us to learn is that peace is assured when we anchor ourselves to a higher power, whatever we name it, God or mother, father, God, goddess, divine spirit, higher power, whatever connects with you. So well-being and serenity and peace will fill and sustain us in all of our thoughts and actions when we give ourselves over to that divine care. We will no longer need to worry about protecting ourselves or feeling vulnerable to anyone because we have that inner safeness and security. It's hard sometimes to hold on to, but not impossible. And that's one reason why this meditation and other spiritual practices are so important. So placing our trust in the higher power enables us to move forward with courage and strength and determination, knowing that we face nothing alone and peace is ours for the asking. So today's meditation is a contemplation of a reading from the Baha'i writings. They're titled The Divine Art of Living. And this is part of chapter one called Trust in God. And our intention is to find peace and courage and a higher power. <clears throat> so let us begin. Get comfortable, please and place your feet on the floor if you can. Relax your body by dropping your shoulders and kind of wiggling around a little and just get comfy. Let your hands rest loosely in your lap and ease your neck muscles so your head feels relaxed. If you can, Susan, you know, do that as best you can. And then take three deep breaths in and exhale freely and calmly. Now, as you continue to breathe deeply, but don't pay a lot of attention to it, just do it naturally. Lower or close your eyes and listen. Oh, trust in God, for his bounty is everlasting and in his blessings, for they are superb. Put your faith in the Almighty for he faileth not, and his goodness endureth forever. His sun gives light continually, and the clouds of his mercy are full of the waters of compassion, with which he waters the hearts of all who trust in him. His refreshing breeze ever carries healing in its wings to the parched souls of men and women. Do not look at thy weakness, nay, look at the power of thy Lord, which hath surrounded all regions. Trust in the assistance of thy master, and ask what thou wishest of the gifts of the Lord, the unconstrained. If you are seeking after spiritual tranquility, turn your face at all times toward the kingdom of Abha, the most glorious. 
Let not your hands tremble, nor your heart be disturbed, but rather be confident and firm in the love of thy Lord, the merciful, the clement. Trust in God and be unmoved by either praise or false accusations. Depend entirely on God. In all thine affairs, put your reliance in God and commit them unto him. Today I'm going to close with this poem by Rumi as you come back to the room and stretch out and 
come back to your senses. The harvest of my pain was its own peace and remedy. As low as I had sunk, I rose, faith restored from blasphemy. Body, heart, and soul obscured the path until body melted into heart, heart into soul, and soul into love itself. So I want to thank the people out there in Zoom land for joining us and we will see you next time. Bye.